and welcome back to another art video. I'm Sidically, and I make art. This time, fan art, which I rarely do, but guess what? This time I am. Usually, it's hard for me to do fan art because in the past I haven't felt a big enough passion for characters to actually want to put in the time to make art dedicated for them, but for Genshin, I will. I haven't made a Genshin Impact spiel in a while, so I think it's about that time again. This character is Hu Tao, who is probably the spookiest character in the game, so she is the perfect introduction into the spooky season. She literally runs a funeral parlor and helps assist lost souls cross over to the other side. What's more Halloween-y than that? So, I'm starting off with sketching her out. I have references on the side for her because Genshin characters have some pretty complex designs. And you know I had to use a reference for her hands. <laughs> I couldn't think of how to describe them when I was searching for a reference, but thankfully Google understood exactly what I meant with my eloquent search of spooky oh. hands. I added a bunch of flowers to fill the empty space and I even added in her little ghost friend that she has for the future light source. Now that I've finished the sketch, I'll move on to the base colors with a layer on top to clean up the lines without having to spend a bunch of time erasing. Now that I've discovered this way of coloring, there's no going back for me. I cannot decide for the longest time what I actually like doing. I tried a bit of lineless art. It looked cool, but I didn't have the patience to do it a lot. I hated doing line art. It felt like such a waste of time, and I just wanted to get onto the coloring. And now I can! This method can be kind of confusing sometimes though, because I sketch really messy, so I can't tell what lines I intended to use in the jumbled up mess, and then I just end up confusing myself. Oh, her eyes! I love coloring eyes, and Hu Tao's eyes are one of the most unique ones in the game. The flower pupil is both cute and eerie, which perfectly describes her character. I also gave her little tiny fangs with her open mouth smile to kind of up the cute spooky factor. 
for some reason I like <laughs> forgot how I started shading skin and like reverted to my old ways for a second there. Um, like just grabbing a color and doing cell shading on a multiply layer. I don't know, I was working on this so long I kind of went into autopilot mode. But then I ended up remembering, oh, I need some random colors in here. Shading the hair is also some of my favorite parts. It's just cool to see the dimension build up and then finishing it off with the hair shinies. Ah, perfect. I still kind of have no idea how to shade clothes though, I just throw color wherever I think there'd be a crease. <laughs> Maybe I should actually try to do some studies of clothes. I thought it'd be cool if I made some little details on her glow, like the flowers on her hat and her pupil. And I finished up making the ghosty and the flowers glow, popping on the cool rim lighting and shading. I love the half and half look, like a part of her as a foot in the darkness. Ooh, so spooky. And I also wrote her name in Chinese for little background details. And that's it, my Hu Tao fan art is done. I'm preparing my mind, body, and soul for Inktober, so stay tuned for what I have planned for that. I'm gonna try to do a Huta impression. <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe for more art content. See you later.